Hey everybody, my name is Kendra Bono. Welcome back for a new series, Tales of Arise, boys. It's actually the demo right now, so I'm playing this in advance. Uh, the demo came out about two days earlier than uh, the actual game itself. The game is supposed to come out this Friday as I'm talking. So uh, until then, I'm going to be playing the demo, try and uh, make as much video of this as I can while I can because... The thing is, I've got so much games along uh, along this one that are coming up. Uh, there's Life is Strange, there's this one, and there's Deathloop that uh, is coming up. Uh, back to back to back, boy. So it's going to be a rough one. A rough one for me in terms of recording and stuff. But uh, I want to record all of these videos for you guys. I want to play these games for you. So, you know, it's going to be a rough month. But it's going to be a fun one nonetheless, you know. So... Let's have a little bit of fun. This is kind of an anime uh, type of game right there. RPG style uh, from what I understand. Since it's the demo, we have a good chance of actually uh, knowing what this game is all about. So we're going to hop on in right away. I'm not sure how much time we've got for the demo itself. I'm going to accept everything. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much time we've got and everything. But uh, we're going to have uh, a lot of fun and try and see what this is all about. So PlayStation Store. Uh, obviously, what we can do is buy a bunch of different costumes. So if you go into the PlayStation Store, uh, you can buy the, uh, the 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 things. Now you can see that it costs. It would cost me a hundred and fifty bucks for the Ultimate Edition. That shit is ridiculous. Do you really think I'm gonna buy a hundred and fifty bucks for a game I barely know, boys? Think again. Uh, basically, what it gives us is eighteen costumes and a bunch of secrets. But uh, I'm not gonna go and buy uh, buy it. I'm not gonna go and buy 150 percent, uh, uh, 50 dollars of content just for something that uh, gives me 18 costumes. I much prefer the default costumes. All right, so character selection for the RPG boys. We got all these types of uh, different classes, I guess. Alfin, Swift Sword Fighter. So it's basically a warrior, regular warrior. Interesting. Uh, seems like it to be my style. I think that would be my style most of the uh, What about this one? A long range gunslinger. Definitely not my style. I'm not a long range. Uh, Rinwell a mage. Mages, not really my style either. Uh, law, close quarter martial artist. With sheer power and flurry of strikes over Elmer's enemies. Alright, this one seems fun. This one seems like a fun one. So it's either this one or this one so far. Uh, Kisara, a hammer wielder with a giant shield that blocks. So this is a heavy dude. This is kind of a tank, kind of. So yeah, that would be the tank. I'm not a good tank uh, uh, player. This one, all-around fighter whose role in arsenal arts enable him to dispatch foes at any distance. So he's kind of a healer when you think about it, maybe. Yeah, it would be a good one. You know what, I kind of want to try this one since it's, it does tell us that uh, it would be good at every distance. So, he's an all-around balanced character. I kind of want to take this guy. Let's do it. Alright, well, here we are, boys. Straight into the game. Let's see, let's uh, figure out the, guy, uh, the controls real quick. So, we jump, we do that, dash. So, if we do that, that basically tells us the menu and stuff. Oh, there's a cutscene and stuff waiting for us. Mm -hmm. So Ziggles have infested every tranquil play places like this, huh? That's a damn shame. <sighs> what do you expect? Tamed or stray, whatever the renants uh, are lurking, Ziggles are sure to follow. I'd be surprised if there somehow weren't any Ziggles in these parts. Great. I know that. It just threw me for a loop a little is all. Listen, listen. Ziggles are deployed and depending on the environments they're best suited for. When we visit an area for the first time, we'll have no idea when, uh, what they're t capable of. So think carefully how to put that blazing sword to use. Right. right, I'll keep that in mind. Now let's get moving. Alright, so we're entering the tutorial right away, boys. So it looks like we're basically starting off as a whole mission. So combat screen selection doesn't matter. I'll figure this all out on my own, boys. So let's try this. Alright, so... This is basically, it's not an, arm, an MMO or anything, but it is like, it's basically uh, an RPG. So it's the closest thing you can probably get to an MMO without having everything on your screen, like hiding your screen and everything. So let's see what we got. All right, there we go. So I'm going to defeat that guy really quick, that enemy. Okay, so we got uh, this enemy right here. Let me catapult. So what does catapult mean exactly? So that's uh, the heavy ability probably. 
Okay, so strike boosts. Uh, one hit kill. So, boom. Okay, all right. I got you for the D-pad. Gives you an extra boost. That is awesome. I like that a lot, boys. So, boom. All right, so we get an actual attack. Let me do the, uh, the assault right here. So imagine, um, depending on whoever I choose in my D-pad, it's going to... It's going to choose the uh, whoever does the special effect, I guess. So I think I got the angle of this. Don't, don't let it go to your head. Complacency leads to trouble. You never loosen up, do you? There's no such thing as being too alert in battle. On we go. Alrighty then. So that was our first battle. Rod extension. If the Halim perfect evades an enemy attack, his senses become heightened and his rod will gain momentum. Greatly extended his range. His penetration will also rise, letting him interrupt enemies and land critical hits on them more often. Okay, that's cool, uh, that's cool, that's cool. So that we just gotta explore a little bit. Am I a girl or, or a guy? I think I'm a girl. I'm not sure, boys. It's not very clear right now. So uh, let's collect. So part of all this. Okay, so we're gonna collect all these ingredients, I guess. I'm not sure how this uh, all works. We got some tomatoes. Uh, how do I... So what is this exactly? Hey, Technology. She... Where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. What was going on there, boys? So if I press that button, I'm guessing uh, an option starts happening or something. So uh, this is the health bar. Of all my allies, Alpen currently has lost a little bit of health. I lost a little bit of health myself. So that's interesting. I, can I actually switch between characters? Or what's, how does this happen exactly? I'm not sure what happens. But uh, you can see on the left right here if I press this. So what happens if I do this? Are they going to start talking? Yes, they, they are. Okay, so I'm just going to skip that really quick. I don't really care. They're just going to start talking all over the place. So there's a bunch of so that's how you know there's some um, cutscenes and stuff waiting for us. So let me just examine this. I really hope that whatever I do here saves it into the game itself. I really do. All right, let me uh, go ahead and fight these guys. Yeah, there's a fight coming in. All right, there we go. So it's pretty simple the way it works. Boom! There we go. Get him. Get him right here. All right, there we go. I love how the uh, how my character fights as well. It's really my style of fighting as well. Just flicks all the uh, boards, boys. All right, so uh, we got this. Let me uh, let me just uh, there we go. Just do that. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. I'm gonna get this animal really quick. These ones are taking a little bit more time to damage. To be honest, there we go. We're, uh, my uh, friends were, I guess. I guess my allies were focusing on another one, another enemy than the one I was focusing on. So. We got something right here, a loot, some mine. We're getting a lot of stuff, Brimon and stuff. Metal Ingriver, the Metal Ingriver can craft accessories for using ore. So basically a lot of uh, crafting items and stuff, which I'm not sure, like I'm, I've never been good at crafting. So it's gonna be quite interesting since this is, this is an RPG. How am I gonna be, like how good am I gonna be at this game? All right, well, we're entering already another world. It was pretty fast. I am playing this obviously, obviously on the next gen. So uh, for the next gen, the graphics look pretty nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, you two there. Uh, I don't think I've seen you around before. You two from out, uh, out of town? What? So, so what if we are? What business is it of yours? None, not at all. You just don't look like you know where you're going, that's all. Right. You're right. This is our first time in the area. Then you'll want to head to Vicent, the big, uh, big capital of Elde Menentia. Hmm. Just know that, as you can clearly see, the area is crawling with Zuglas, and they all seem to be even angrier than usual. If you're not looking to get jumped by them, stick to the highway. 
safer than trying to cut across the rough and run into trouble. Uh, although, judging by the sword you're carrying, maybe you thrive off danger. If that's your thing, I won't stop you. But I won't say I didn't warn you. Anyway. Vicent, huh? What do you think we should do? <sighs> Not like we have anywhere else to go. Better than wandering these fields aimlessly. It. And it's settled. We're off to Vicent. Safe travels, folks. I'm going to hang out around here a bit longer in case more travels like you, uh, you to lose their way. Alright, so this guy basically on, is a plot device to tell us that there's a city coming up right there. So this is probably where we want to go. Uh, straight up. If we uh, straight up from the actual path, he told us that we're most likely going to have to fight a bunch of goons. Which is most likely fine by me. I do want to try and fight these goons. So let's do it. I do want to fight these an uh, these animals. So let's go. Let's attack them boys. Woo! Watch out now. Yes, yeah, so I, I do want to fight these guys, big time. So I like the fact that you, um, you basically can do this attack. There we go. So you can summon your uh, your allies to do the uh, special attacks and stuff. Let me summon her really quick. There we go. You can see uh, when you summon them, they uh, do a lot more damage and stuff, which I really like. All right, go ahead. Just like that. These are kind of like their special abilities they can do, I guess. So that's uh, that's really cool. All right, let's go. All right, uh, we're gonna get him just like that. We're gonna attack it. All right, there we go, there we go. We got him. All right, special attack strike all together. Boom, all like that flaming swing. I like that. Consider yourself finished. Like that quite a lot, boys. Are we leveling up? Okay, so we do see we're gaining some XP and stuff. Yeah, this game's gonna be fun, boys. Not sure what the whole story is all about right now. It's more likely that we're just running around. Uh, getting a bunch of stuff, so that's just how it is, I guess. There we go. Just collect everything. It's easy to collect stuff as well, which I like. I do want to fight these animals as much as possible. I think uh, that's the best far, uh, part of it, is really try and fight them. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's go, boys. We got to attack him. It's just one of them. Really? That's the only one we got to fight right now? All right, then. That's fine. Uh, that seems fine by me. Let's attack him really quick. Once again, flaming swing. And it's done. Doing a lot of damage right now. These um, basic enemies are no match to us. Big time no match. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and go around the place. Uh, I, it seems strange. Hold on. There's a, a case right there waiting for us. Looting pr uh, protect ring. So I can probably equip that. Maybe it's like an item some sort. Like auxiliary that I can equip to my uh, character and stuff. There's a guy right there. Maybe we can talk to him. It seems like that might be the mission, actually. Recently, this crazy huge Dougal keeps popping up in the T-Dill plants. i never seen anything like it. Things getting even the guard a lot of grief. I turn back if you know what's good for you, folks. So he doesn't want us to... Okay, okay. So we can't go there right now, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what's uh, happening. So we do have to go into the city... Which is all the way there. We'll go there. I'll definitely... Oh, I can actually go faster if I do this. Okay, good. I can actually sprint, boys. Okay, we're camping out. Resting at the campground will restore your health. Okay, that's how you do it. So, uh, you go at a camp, you rest. And then it restores all your members' health and stuff. Okay, that, that's how you do it. And that seems pretty simple enough. So, rest, reminisces. Reminisce. So, I guess... You, uh, you basically talk with these... Party status. Let me uh, check. So yeah, they de we do need to heal up quite a bit. Uh, let's just go ahead. Uh, menu. Oh, so do you do have to go to a camp. It's kind of like Dark Souls. You have to go to the camp in order to actually get your equipment settled and all that, that good stuff. So can I... Okay, so I only have this. So I only have this weapon right here. Okay, that's fine by me. Elemental. Yeah, that's fine by me. Uh, uh, that's good. We don't have any other weapon accessory. We do have the protect ring. So I'm going to do that. I uh, imagine that gives me more points. Uh, what about the protect ring? As I already have it equipped on me. I'm going to keep it equipped on me. So, okay. So we, we, I can uh, switch, right? If I want to be another character, can I? I'm not entirely sure. For now, I'll just stay as that character. Artist. So that is my main abilities, I'm guessing. Uh, in aerial attacks and stuff like that. That's all we got. Healing. 
catapult so i've got catapult okay so there it is so there's the different abilities that i've got that i can actually equip on myself i think catapult i like it tempest i'm not sure elusive dd these are the ones i already have okay what is this party members fight autonomously but their user recovery support arts and items are determined by your strategy okay uh so let's see what this is all about fight with moderation focus on healing fight aggressively or don't uh, uh cp don't spend cp uh so anything in battle is best for any uh, removing ko status okay so we can choose one of those moderation seems like the best one it's kind of a little bit balanced out between both of them uh fighting aggressively would mean a lot more damage i would tend to fight and focus on either i will kind of keep it on moderation but if we come up across uh, i'm gonna uh rest do we want to cook uh cooking effect consumes ice cream uh that's that's some ice cream sure why not if we come up to a, an actual raid boss or a boss fight, a uh, fight I'll definitely think about uh, putting it into a healer. Indeed. But for now, I think we should be fine, boys. So I don't know who that guy is. He's probably selling stuff. Let me see. Is, it, is he a merchant or some sort? For those times where victory is almost in reach, it is our job as shopkeep shopkeepers. Yeah. So uh, create accessory or buy and sell items. Let me sell some items. Yeah, the, the bunch of junks I've got. All right, so we can sell all the uh, whatever we got right here. I don't have really anything. Accessory materials. I'm going to keep the rest. I'm going to try and see if I can buy anything. Armor. No, I can't buy any armor, boys. So it, it doesn't matter to me. If I can't buy any armor, I'm not really interested. So uh, that's pretty much all we got right now. Let's keep going, boys. I don't have a lot uh, right now to do. We do have this right here. So uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take as much stuff as I can uh, along the way. So let's go ahead and jump. We're going to go into the city right here and see what we can encounter really quick. We're going to have our first mission or first thing, whatever it is. What is this? Look at these horses. Can we actually get a mount uh, later on? Probably, right? I imagine we can get mounts. Uh, there's some more stuff that we can get right here. So imagine, what is this? Can we get any of this? Chicken? So we just got some chicken, whatever that means. I'm not sure how that's going to help us out in the long run. But all right, I think we're supposed to go here. The path, path is blocked for us right now. Imagine eventually in the main game, we're going to be able to go anywhere really. But right now it seems like uh, this is the place probably. Pardon me, if I'm not mistaken, are you two travelers? And you are? Ah, oh, we, where are my manners? My name is Drashen. I work for the city. Hey. We're, we were told to come to Vicent. Uh, I'm guessing this is it? Yes. yes, you're certainly come to the right place. I wish I could say welcome to you both, however. The gates to the city are currently sealed. Nobody is currently allowed uh, to enter. Dangerous Zugal is on the loose, you see. Mm. A Zugal? There are nothing to get in a twist about. We saw plenty of them in, on the way over here. Maybe. There are... This is no inter, uh, ordinary Sugal. I fear it is a rather large specimen. One that free, uh, that's free of its former constraints. Hmm. Worse still, there are troubling reports of an even larger Sugal on the loose. But that's never here, uh, here nor there. Until they've both successfully hunted down for everyone's uh, safety, the city will unfortunately remain under lockdown. I guess. Does that go for you too, despite being a resident? Sadly, yes. Due to a blunder on my part, I've been locked out as well. I'm just about to take shelter at a nearby ranch. You both more, you're both more than welcome to join me, if you wish. <sighs> so you're planning on holing up at this ranch? Sorry, but we've got other plans. We can't just... Hey, hey Shion. Why don't we just get rid of those Zygols ourselves? I was afraid you were going to have another outrageous suggestion. Hear me out. The sooner we take care of them, the sooner we can enter Vicent. Better than just sitting around a ranch, right? <sighs> All right, let's do it. Spit it out. Where are these eagles running That's around? Unfortunate. They're in the turtle plants. Wait, surely you don't want to take it all yourself, do you? That's exactly what we're going to do. And once we get rid of them, I want a decent accommodation for the both of us. You got it? 
All right, well, looks like we got our mission out. Now we can go there and deal with them. I got you, game. So we can actually get there now and deal with them. Seems fun enough. It's basically, uh, it's not a grab mission, but it's basically us having to go back around, kill these, uh, kill that raid boss or whatever, and then we can enter the sea. Which uh, seems fine by me, boys. Let's head over there. All right, here we are, boys. Right here. It's actually pretty easy to, uh, when you think about it, it's actually pretty easy to get the crafting materials. Uh, you just run around and they always respawn, it seems like. Here. So, Be pretty easy guard. so far. Let's go ahead and continue. Where, wherever that raid boss we is, it's got to be this one. Of... That's got to be the raid boss, boys. So, let's go ahead and uh, go up against it. Let's do it. All right, a Mantis, level 26. One level higher than us. That's fine by me. Let's go, boys. Get it. Get it right here. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Right, we, yeah, we gotta watch out for that, boys. We gotta watch out. There we go, just like that. He's doing a lot of damage to me. Uh, let me just do the attack really quick. Just like that, there we go. I'm losing a lot of damage right here. Go ahead. Go ahead, do the damage right here. Boom. It seems like uh, they're telling me he has a, ch um, a weak point and stuff. There we go. Uh, and let me just do this special right here. Oh shit Watch out watch out now. So to dodge I have to actually do this interesting. Okay, so I got oh, okay I got the special abilities like that. Yeah, I'm gonna use all of them right here. No watch out watch out watch out There we go. So once I evade the attacks and stuff. I should be all right. There we go Just gonna keep uh, evading right here boys. There we go. Keep evading. Yeah, he's a strong one right here Keep evading right here all right, good, good, good. Uh, she just healed me up, which is fantastic. Exactly what I needed. Attack him again with this special attack. We're doing uh, quite a bit of damage, boys, but this one is a big boss fight right here. Oh, watch out, watch out. Shit, I'm doing all sorts of flips all over the place, but I'm not actually attacking the dude. All right, strike. Time for his flaming swing, bitch. That barely did anything. Holy shit. Okay, get it. Get him right there with your gun. There we go. Perfect. Get him. Get him. Get him. All right. So what is this? Is he uh, actually going to... Okay. Watch out now. All right. We can't let him uh, do our thing right here. We got to watch out because uh, we want um, our healer to actually heal us. So we got to really be careful. Do the attack as well. Uh, there we go. Both of you at the same time. Get, uh, get this one now. Boom. There we go. So we're doing uh, quite a lot right here. I need you to, I need someone to heal me. All right, she's doing, yeah, there we go. My healer is doing a good job, boys. With a, she's a really good healer. All right, good again, time again. Climbing swing. Let's do it, boys. All right, whatever that did. Don't think uh, it did too much damage, boys, but uh, we're trying our best right here. There we go. The abilities are really starting quite fast or quite um, often as well. So that's pretty good, boys. I almost died right here. Holy shit, I gotta be careful. No, watch out. He's gonna kill me, man. Holy shit. Yeah, the healer just healed me right in time. She's doing a fantastic job right now, uh, that's for sure. Go, 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 go. We almost got him. Come on, come on. Whoa, watch out now. Woo! Get him. Get him right there. Go, go, go. This one, boom, right there. All right, uh, we're gonna attack this guy right here. All right, go, 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 go. And get this one to do the ability just like that. Yeah, that's that's quite good enough. And do my ability right here. All right, we almost got him. No, you don't. Watch out now. All right, good, good, good. We got him, we got him. Do the special right here. All right, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Time for the little final strike, boys. Flaming swing once, one last time. And there it goes. You almost actually died in that one. That was a tough one. Tough battle, boys. Greetings again, travelers. Gather you've decided to take refuge at the ranch after all. Actually, uh, no, we, uh, we actually defeated him. What? Surely he's jest. His sheer ferocity gives even the city's own guardsmen pause. Well, it wasn't much of a problem, actually. Reasonable reaction for anyone who is, uh, with a level-headed to have. What? You think I'm not level-headed? Sure. Sure I do. If you consider fighting a giant Zoogle, first thing ever after arriving at a new city to be level-headed. What about you? You're the one who agreed to help because you didn't want to have to sleep rough. 
That's got nothing to do with... Pardon me interrupting you two. Suffice it to say, I believe you now. Yes. Clearly, I underestimated just how strong the pair of you clearly are. <sighs> Save your thanks. As long as we get a warm bed and some nice food, we'll call it even. What? I don't remember you asking for food before. What? What was that? Nothing, don't mind me. Now that now to finally open the gates. <laughs> allow me to welcome you both to Vincent in earnest. I'm confident our city will be the, uh, to your liking. Sure. You give me high expectations, that's for sure. Great. Well, let's head on in. Uh, thank you for playing. So that was it. That was the demo. If I had known, I would have fought a little bit more, boys. But uh, it's enough for a video, I guess. So uh, there's the demo, boys. Pretty easy demo right there. Kind of got a little bit of a spoiler about the character we want to use as well. Um, so we're going to hop on in. This was a quick review of the demo itself, so a quick look at what the game would look like overall. Well, the gameplay seems fun enough. Uh, not sure about the story. I mean, the story is pretty linear. So I'm not sure if I actually want to buy the game, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if it's actually my type of game. I did good of actually trying out the demo just to be sure that I actually like the game or not. But uh, there was, that was definitely a quick overview of it. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.